I'm not interested in having curly hair anymore. It's damaged. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today we're talking hair, right here. Feeling very uh, 90s-esque today. I feel like when I was a teenager in the 90s and used to have my hair out and wear these type of tops. Let's move forward. So what I am talking about today, guys, is damaged hair. But you already knew this, didn't you? And before anyone says, no, I have not big chop. My hair is shrunken. Still got, still got inches, guys. Still got the inches. So I washed my hair last night. Did twist just took them out today and just mm, just you know dramatic effect for this video so let's begin i've got my notepad guys got my little, my little notes so i can guide you through this video so i'm going to be showing you my hair journey in pictures i'm going to take you to 2013 that was my second big chop the first big chop i ever done i didn't even know it was called a big chop it was maybe 2009 and i used to straighten my hair so much that i just thought my hair was just a really loose texture so i'm just giving you a little bit of backstory i wish i had pictures anyway so i didn't know it was called a big chop and i just cut my hair myself I just put it into a ponytail, chopped it, had a nice little bob, and then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do a pixie cut. And yes, cut my hair myself. I don't know how I've done it because I'd be terrified to do it these days. I just feel so scared that I'd mess it up these days, but I know I can do it if I had to. Anyway, so that was my very first big chop. Now, I've got pictures for my second big chop, which I'm about to show you now. This was in 2013. After the time I big chopped my hair the first time, I still carried on straightening my hair, so my hair was pretty damaged. So I started to let it grow, and I stopped straightening my hair so much. However, my curls were quite loose, but it was the first time I cut my hair curly. First time I cut my hair curly, or had, or had a haircut that was curly, and this was the results. I think I almost instantly regretted it. I, I like the fact that I got rid of the damage to an extent. However, the style was just not popping. Gave me this lopsided um, something, something, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, my hair started to grow back nicely. Over time, it started to take shape. No pun intended, it did. It was growing nice and thick. I wasn't putting heat on my hair. Okay, so the third picture, fast forward to mid-2016. Uh, my hair was severely heat damaged, as you can see. This was my wash and go. It was limp, it was flat, but that was my hair wet. When it actually dried, my hair would be nice and not tightly coiled, but it would coil up quite nicely that I could get away with it not looking damaged. It's only when I would wash my hair, I'd have like puffy bits, stringy straight bits, puffy bits again, it was just a mess. And that was because I decided to start using extreme heat. So I was blow drying my hair on the highest heat. I was trying to stretch out my wash and goes. But what I would do, I'd sit there with the high heat and just go back and forth and back and forth. Can you imagine how many protein bonds that broke in my hair strands? And then this took me to November, 2016, when I decided to do my third Big chop. I cut off quite a bit. The amount that I cut off, it didn't feel like a amount that came off, but you know, with curly hair, it shrinks. And then I'm left with this style, which I did not like at the time. I'm gonna be very honest, guys. Don't know if you can see it in my face, but I didn't really like it. It wasn't for me. Maybe if I shaped it a bit more and maybe done more of a pixie cut, but again, I don't think I had the, the stomach or the heart to try and cut it a bit more. And I knew that I couldn't have long hair in this very moment, so it was gonna have to be healthy and healthy with the length that I could retain. So here you go. You can see that my hair is grown back nice and healthy and most importantly, curly. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, so in this next picture, again, you can see my hair still growing nice and healthy. It was easy to maintain because it was short. I would spritz it with water in the morning just to reactivate the gel. And I'd wash my hair every five to six days, maybe in seven, I could push it because my hair wasn't getting so tangled. As it got longer, I had to do my wash and goes for only four days because it was growing, tangling, knotting. Again, you can see my hair is flourishing. However, it is touching my scarf and it's starting to rub. And this is where I started getting the little tangles and fairy knots at the end, which I don't get no more, by the way. So my hair was still healthy, flourishing. I was deep conditioning. I was co-washing. I was doing all the fun stuff. Not fun. I was doing all of the stuff that I saw on YouTube. So in the summer of 2018, I decided to ombre my hair because I wanted to lighten the mood, lighten the ends, you know what I mean? Summertime, I wanted to lighten up a bit, you know? So then what happened after that, when it came to winter time, I decided to darken my hair. So that's two types of hair 
hair dye. I've got videos on both of them actually. It was actually blue black. It looks black in my hair. In my bath, it looked blue. <laughs> but again, guys, my curls stayed intact. My hair was still healthy. Um, I was deep conditioning. I was using hair grease, but not as much. I was using it more for just for my scalp. My main products I was using were leave-ins and wash and go leave-ins and wash and goes leave-ins and hair gel so guys hair with the red lips you can see that i am continuing to do my wash and goes my hair was flourishing and then this will take you on to the one with my orange coat my hair was full thick curls were as even and uniform as possible there was no damage my hair was gorgeous my hair was beautiful okay so i'm gonna fast fast, fast, fast forward 20, 20. This is where I started doing my protective styling, i.e. my wig wearing. I was cameraing my hair underneath and I was wearing my wigs. Initially, it was going okay, but what I wasn't doing was moisturizing my hair, sealing my hair, cleansing, clarifying my hair properly. I believe I wore my cane rose for about four to five weeks and I washed my hair in between that time, but I washed my hair with the cane rose in. Oh, my hair's in camera, it's gonna be fine. My hair is flourishing and my hair did grow. I've done a video about that as well, guys. My hair grew quite quick. It grew an inch and a half because I believe they say your hair's meant to grow about half an inch a month. It's all relative, isn't it? <laughs> it grew, but it wasn't growing. It wasn't growing healthy. It was thirsty. Okay, so I'm showing you all my wig styles I had. My cane rows, because you can see I've got a nice amount of length and you can also see from the cane row to my scalp, you can see the hair in between how much my hair's grown. I always left my cane rows to a point where I couldn't see the parting anymore. And I used to hate seeing that when I was growing up when boys used to have their hair in cane rows. <laughs> I was just being lazy. I just didn't want to have to do the whole routine. I thought the reason I'm putting my hair into a protective style is that I don't have to touch it. We have to do some things to it, guys. So it flourished in length, not in health. I realized my hair started to get thinner. And it's not necessarily something I spoke about, guys, initially, because I didn't want to believe it. And I weren't greasing my hair, by the way, guys. If any of you are asking, this had nothing to do with hair grease. I wasn't greasing my hair. I wasn't doing anything to it. And if I greased my hair, it still would have been bad because my hair wasn't hydrated. I would just been sealing in the dryness. So initially, this was the first time, the side foot profile picture, this was the first time I had my hair out. So I'd stopped doing the protective styling, i.e. the cane rows and the wigs. And I just decided to give my hair a rest and put it in a bun. It still looks nice and full and thick until I washed it. When I washed it, the top was just a puffy mess. Then I had stringy strands down here. And I believe some of that damage is also from when I had the, wig, the wigs on and I was putting mousse on the wigs whilst it was on my head, I was drying it with the hair dryer on a high heat. So I think a lot of my hair, that my hair that was actually cane road was getting heat damaged as well. I just done some poor practices and I'm just telling you everything. Yeah, so then basically my hair was terrible i done a video showing you that i damaged my hair poor thing <laughs> and then i thought you know what let me start looking after her properly so then this is when i started not getting into the hair grease because i was using hair grease before that guys i was i was greasing my scalp i've done videos about hair grease i've done hair grease wash and goes i was using hair grease before but this is when i started doing protective styles put the wigs away she needs moisture and grease and that's what she's getting that's where i am at now so yeah, it's damaged, but it's not damaged to the point where um, there's no help in it. So I've done effigy protein treatments. And this is the thing, my hair is just time consuming. Natural hair is just time consuming. That brings me on to the next thing I was going to say. Two time savers that I was thinking about that was mentioned in my title. Big chop, relaxer. Okay, so let's start with the big chop. Am I prepared to do a fourth big chop? Absolutely. Am I going to do a fourth big chop right now? maybe not i was so close last week to cutting my hair and i wasn't even gonna film it and i thought for the fact that i'm not even gonna film it i'm not ready for this oh uh, if i'm going to do it i want to take you on a journey with me and i want to cut my hair on camera and show you guys i have a love-hate relationship with her sometimes she likes me sometimes i like her sometimes we just don't get along and <laughs> that's what it is but i don't want to get rid of her now i've done a poll on my instagram asking whether you'd prefer healthy hair or long hair now the majority of you guys said healthy hair and i absolutely agree so i think what's gonna happen is i'm not gonna big chop i think what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna continue growing my hair and just snip they look thinner 
and there's, there's there's reasons for that it's because they are also because i dyed it lighter so it looks it doesn't look as full you know darker hair looks fuller and on top of it most of my hair is all bunched up my hair is all bunched up in there and that is from obviously the damage that i had done when my hair was in protective style last year well my hair grows quick and i retain length quite well so what i'm gonna do is just maybe gradually snip and snip i like the length i have now but i love the thickness more and i love the health more so i don't think i'll be doing a big chop for now i do want to do a big chop though i don't want to be forced to do a big chop does that make sense i don't want to be forced to do a big chop because my hair's unhealthy i want to do it because i just want to change and when i cut my hair the very very first time i absolutely loved it so if i'm going to do this i've got to figure out a way how i'm going to have a big chop with tight coils in regards to relaxing now i am not a natural hair nazi and not to say i don't care if someone's hair is dropping out that's not what i'm trying to say i if someone's doing something for their hair that works for their hair then i love that i i even watch i'll watch you to learn from you i'm here to teach those through my own experience what i've done to get my hair to a desired an undesired stage and to hopefully let someone know not to make the mistakes i make or the, the processes i use to possibly get you on the right track that's all with that being said do you know what i am enjoying looking at a lot of people with relaxed hair a lot of people are going back to having relaxed hair and i don't blame you when my hair was relaxed it was less hassle i just i didn't really think about having my natural hair it was just it wasn't something that i was like craving for however now i'm so used to my curls and i do like straightening my hair i like the versatility of being able to straighten my hair and then go back to my curls if my hair was relaxed i know i'm so impatient i would i'd mostly just relax my hair one month and then the following month say i'm just growing it out and transitioning again because <laughs> i always like to change up my hair hence the wigs and wash and goes and protective styles and so if i'm going to relax my hair i again i'd like to have that choice knowing that that is a hundred and thousand ten thousand million percent that i wanted to do that and i'm not interested in having curly hair anymore however i am i like the fullness doing these videos and having this channel has taken a toll on my hair because i do things a lot more to my hair than i would if i wasn't filming and that's not to say i don't love what i do i absolutely love what i do but it was more so the fact that the trends that I was following initially and you know not everything works for your hair so will I relax my hair anytime soon I don't think so will I relax my hair in the future who knows I will never say never I do love the look right now I can get the look with hair grease and straighteners so at the moment because I love the versatility of like washing out my hair and it goes to curly again I love that feeling right now no anyway guys i feel like i've been rambling i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i answered some questions for you guys if you have any questions or comments down below or if you're thinking about going back to relax why and if you've already gone relax how's that going for you so let me know drop your comments down below in the comment section and i will try my best to get back to you as soon as i can and thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to follow me on instagram at miss lauren lee 11 i also have a new online store called wardrobe once more but if you want to have a check it if you want to have a check it out if you want to have a check it out <laughs> you can lick <laughs> you, so you can lick the link oh my gosh what is wrong with me today you can click the link down below in the description box guys and i will see you soon thank you so much for watching guys see you later bye